Welcome to my binding how-to videos. Today we answer the question, how to use a guillotine paper cutter. Classic guillotine style paper cutters hold a long tradition and work great. They're precise, they're easy to use, they last a long time, but can be a little dangerous. Here's how to use them effectively and safely. First off, it's crucial with this style of paper trimmer to know and use the safety lock. When you're not trimming paper, please lock the blade. Some locks are as simple as a lever, some are built into the handle of the blade, requiring a different motion to release it from the lock. Either way, before you begin, learn how to use it. Paper cutters are going to have built-in measuring tools, some better than others. This one is a ruler across the top and a grid on the face. This one has all kinds of shapes and angles and sizes and different measuring tools. Adjustable fences usually have locks. Lock them down so that all of your cuts are consistent throughout your whole project. Whatever is at your disposal, use it. You'll be thankful in the project outcome. Scrap paper, very important. Make your first cuts on scrap paper to make sure you're doing exactly what you need. After some time, you'll become very familiar with your guillotine style paper cutter and you'll be able to use it with great ease, great quickness, and great accuracy. Guillotine style paper cutters are an office standard. Shop around, make a great investment. That's it. That's how to use a guillotine paper cutter. For more demos and how-tos, check out mybinding.com.